when I jump in the water, I feel a different person. I'm light. I love to see the when I put my arms ahead and I can see the little bubbles through the, the sun and everything. It's 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 second nature to me almost. I love the feeling to be in the water and feel different. Well, that's the Olympic gold, Helsinki, 1952. I was somebody, and I was nobody here. That's all the, uh, that was the program. I didn't have any pressure on me because nobody knew me. I, I didn't even win a Hungarian championship before the Olympics. 400 meter freestyle. I knew that I'm not uh, a sprinter. I wasn't very fast, but the turn at the 250, I said, well, now or never. Then I made a big finish and I came up and I won with an Olympic record. We had two different Olympic villages, one for the Western athletes, and behind the Iron Curtain, we had another village. We were not allowed to be friendly with the Western outlets. Then you can see that, that I was quite happy. They didn't even know my name. Nobody was counting on me. It was a big surprise for me too. It didn't register that I that time I was the best on the world in 400 meter freestyle and I swam an Olympic record. The whole Olympic team traveled on a train. It was a big locomotive. When we got to Hungary at the station, it was full of people. And the whole team was marching down like a victory parade. And people were screaming and, and throwing flowers at us. And it was because in 52, it was a very, uh, still a communist country. And the love we got, that I, that I, I said, that's it. Yeah, this John. John. My um, fiance were swimming the same club as, like me. We just fell in love. We started to go out serious in 54, 55 and then we decided that we're going to get married. He always wanted to get out from Hungary because he didn't see any future for himself. He asked me if uh, I'd be out in the country on a swim meet on the West, that if he could get out, would I stay there and wait for him? And I said, yes. My mother is a complete romantic. It's the, the spiritual part, it's the emotional part, it's the romance that always surrounds the things that she has always liked. Throughout the city, Soviet war memorials come crashing down. Budapest is in revolt. We were in a training camp on the Buddha side of Budapest, far up on the hills. They wouldn't let us go out. We just heard it, that what's happening. Sometimes we heard some shots, but they didn't let us out from the hotel. We stayed there during the revolution, and when it was so that the revolution is over, then the Russians will go out, they decided that, that we are going to the Olympic Games. The rebels ride their tanks triumphantly through the streets. The Russians have given their word that they will withdraw all communist troops from Hungarian soil. It took us more than a week to get to Melbourne. And then we heard the news. Russian tanks rumble back into Budapest to turn that hope into heartbreak. That what happened in Budapest, that the Russians came back and there was street fights and bombing and people are dying of hunger. This is battered Budapest under the brutal Russian boot. It was very hard because we didn't know if anybody's alive or, or what happened.
I couldn't focus on swimming because I had to decide what I will do with my life. If I go home back, then I lost Janusz and I would never see him again. If I don't go back, I will lose my parents and my old life, and I would never see anything again. I don't remember how I jumped in or uh, when the gun went off, but I really tried. I felt like a stone going down, and I was the last to touch the wall. I was eight, well below my time. I could hardly climb out of the pool, and then came a guy that I should go up to the newspaper room because I have a phone call. And that was my future mother-in-law, who somehow, some way, I don't know how, but arranged to get a call into the newspaper room in the pool. And she told me that, Wally, your mother, she said, to go after Janos. So that was a big relief for me because I know that my mother agreed. So that's how I started and uh, decided that I jumped the team and then somebody came up to me and uh, he told me that they're going to arrange the airplane ticket and uh, hang, uh, the Canadian visitor visa to come to Toronto so I don't have to go with the part of the team to the States. And then I flew to Sydney, got my visa, and then I got on the plane and flew and flew and flew. And I arrived in Toronto on a very bitterly cold day. I had my uniform and a thin, thin raincoat, and I was frozen to death. Janusz waited for me with his cousin. It was a shock, not just because of the weather, but the whole city, it was different, you know. For my mom to make a decision where she had already left, so with no idea whether or not she would ever see her family again, with no idea as to what the repercussions would be for her family if she jumped the team, um, you know, like that was, I, like I can't imagine how difficult that was. You're gonna trust the fact that you know, the the man that you were gonna, you know, that you're in love with is, you know, gonna be there, and then you're going into a country you've never been into. That takes a huge amount of strength, you know. So that that really does speak to her strength of character. And it was very hard to get used to it. We got married on uh, December 28th. Janusz already had a job, so we were able to rent a flat at nights when I couldn't sleep. I was telling the streetcar stops from the apartment to the swimming pool and back. When my first daughter was born, then I put my roots down. And then very slowly the homesickness eased off. My daughter, Josephine, is at seven, incredibly crowded of her grandmother. She takes swimming classes at the community centers and first thing she tells her teachers is that her grandma is a competitive swimmer and won a gold medal for Hungary. So she's very proud. I swim a lot during the summer, about three or four times a day up at the lake. I love swimming, it's my second nature. And I love the water and I love to watch the bubbles, what the sun makes when you swim and you put your arms in the water. Uh, it's, it's a different feeling. It's a floating. 